Is it possible to beat the casino table wash? Let's find out. We'll take the two aces. The ace of hearts goes here. The ace of spades goes here. We'll square everything up like this, okay? Next thing we do is, of course, the casino table wash. Mixing the cards up like this will ensure that I have no idea where the aces are. In fact, we'll take some cards, slot them in between and all that kind of stuff, okay? Now, the next thing we do is this. I'm going to try and still find the aces and uh, deal the aces to myself, okay? In a little game of Texas Hold'em, all right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to try and do a uh, five-handed game, okay? A five-handed game of Texas Hold'em, just like so. And we are good to go. That's one, two, three, four. That's the first ace. One, two, three, four. That's ace number two. What? <laughs> Pack of cards here. All of them different. I'll refill down. You say stop anytime you like. Okay? Stop. Here. Yeah? Mm. Look at this card. Remember this card and don't forget it. All right? We'll lose it halfway in the middle like this. Somewhere. Can you um, shuffle cards? Yes. You know how to shuffle cards. Yes. Very good. Um, do me a favor, I want you to shuffle the cards for me, so give it a good mix. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Okay, very good. And then what I want you to do is to spread the cards in your hands. Spread? Mm -hmm. In your hands like this. Yes, when I count to three, I want you to throw all the cards. Ready? Okay. One, two, three. Ooh. What was the card you selected? Uh, hey Tao Pa. Hey Tao Pa. Eight of spades. Yes. Hmm, eight of spades. <gasps> <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> what? Can you control cards blindfolded? I'm not sure. Let's try. <laughs> We're gonna put a blindfold on like this, and whatever this card is, remember the card and don't forget it, okay? Now we're going to turn the cards over so that they are face up and we're going to do what is known as a casino wash. Mixing the cards up this way will ensure that I have no control over the cards. And since the cards are face up, you can see that they are all different. Okay. We'll add in a few more shuffles. This is known as a Hindu shuffle followed by a riffle shuffle. Okay. So far, so good. Next up, a few more cards and we are good to go. If I've done it correctly, it should be on the 32nd position right about here. Did I get it? What is the worst way of shuffling a deck of cards? <laughs> Let me show you. Say we'll take a card in this case, this one, remember the card, the Queen of Spades. Don't forget the card, all right? Next, I'm going to show you the worst way is to actually take half the cards, turn them face up, and half the cards, turn them face down, and shuffle the cards face up into face down like so, okay? Now, if you have accidentally done it at home before, you understand that it's quite a mess. I mean, you know, the cards are facing every which way and it's very difficult to sort them. I mean, if you cut the cards like this, you can see the cards are practically in a mess, right? But there is a method to kind of do this. Let me show you. What you do is that you take the deck of cards and you wind them. There we go. Back. Now, all the cards will face one way, all except for one card, and that is, of course, the Queen of Spades. <laughs> What? Today I'm going to teach you how to deal the four aces to yourself using an overhand shuffle. First, you take three aces and you place them on top. The last ace goes to the bottom like this. Five players in total times two plus one will give you 11. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It is just a little formula that you have to follow. Four opponents, one, two, three, four. Players, one, two, three, four, five. One for the dealer and then players again. One, two, three, four, five. The last thing you need to do is to cut exactly to the 32nd position, complete the card and deal the cards out normally and you should get the four aces now as you can see the cards are coming out from the top i'm not cheating whatsoever one last one and here we go okay you should have one indifferent card followed by the one two three four aces <laughs> what okay check this out three coins here okay nothing else in my hands only three coins now watch very carefully these coins, they can actually jump from one hand to the other, just like that, little squeeze. <sighs> Look, one coin jumps across, leaving me only with just two. Hmm? <laughs> the second one, I want you to watch carefully. This one can actually fly through the air and land right over here. Hmm? 
This last coin is going to join the two that's going to be on the table. That's one and that's two. All right. This last coin, watch. Just snap my fingers like this. And it's gone completely. Hmm? That's one, two, and three. <laughs> Same blindfolded, same shuffle, but find the four aces. Okay, let's try. One, two, three, the four aces. I'm gonna lose them in the middle of the packets like so. One here, one here, one here, and one over here, okay? So we know it's fair, all right? We'll put the blindfold on like this, and we'll do, again, what is known as the casino table shuffle or the casino table wash so that way you know there's no control over the cards square them up like this and we'll throw in a few more shuffles that's the hindu shuffle followed by a riffle shuffle and i'm feeling a bit lucky today so we'll add in a few more cuts and shuffles like that if i have perfect control over the cards i should be able to find the one two three four aces. Hmm? The Gambler versus the Magician part three. <laughs> you asked for it, we got it. So the first thing the Gambler is going to try to do is to spot high value cards when shuffling and that way he can control the card to anywhere he wants. Okay. If he's so good, he can also cut directly to whatever card he desires just like that. Now, I don't want you to think that the uh, kings are already, you know, prepared on top or anything like this. So this time round, we're going to do it differently. We're going to cut one card out of the center of the deck, and that should be the third king. Now, usually three of a kind is good enough, but uh, for completeness sake, let's go with the last king as well. Now, what the magician would do is that he'll take the kings just like this, and then you just have to snap his fingers and turn them into the four Aces. <laughs> what? Being able to control playing cards is a good skill to have, but being able to track and control the cards is even better. Let me show you what I mean. Say we take this card, the Ten of Spades. We'll leave it face up, okay, like so. Because I cut the cards, meaning I know exactly where it will be. Now, if I were to shuffle the cards this way, can you tell me where is the Ten now? Is it near the top, middle, or bottom? If you say it's somewhere in the middle, you'll be right. You see, the ten of spades, somewhere in the middle. So, for a card cheat, he has to be able to track and control the card so that he has the advantage to control whatever card he wants, wherever he wants. But what's good of having the ten of spades when you can also have the jack, the queen, the king, and the ace? <laughs> what? Do it in slow motion. Sure, I got you. Pack of cards over here. Now we're going to select one card at random. In this case, whatever this is, the six of diamonds. Remember this card and don't forget it, all right? We're going to lose it about halfway in the middle like so. And I don't want you to think that there's anything sticking out or anything that's helping me with this trick, all right? We'll throw in a few quick shuffles and a few cuts just to be sure. Let's do this from this way. One card and one card only, the Six of Diamonds. What? You watch all the way till the end? Well done. <laughs> Thank you so much for your support. It's been a wonderful journey. I couldn't have done it without you. Please follow and subscribe to me across all platforms. It will mean so much to me. There's more exciting content coming in 2023. You guys take care, stay safe, and have a wonderful 2023. Cheers. It's me, Jeremy, and welcome back to another video.